Hi everybody, it's Miss Morocco here. I'm outside and I was hiking around in the woods behind my house and I was seeing all these leaves on the ground and I thought it would be a good way to show you some symmetry. So symmetry is when two things look the same on either side and this leaf, the vein or the line down the middle of the leaf going vertically up and down is a really good example of um, this line of symmetry. So it shows you that this side of the leaf and that side of the leaf are exactly the same. If I tried to split my leaf in half horizontally, it wouldn't quite work the same because I have my stem down here and my point up there so those two sides aren't the same. But if you hold it this way, you can see these two left and right sides are symmetrical. They're the same shape. This leaf this oak leaf looks symmetrical, but if you look closer, you can count the points. This one has a point down here in the bottom, and this one does not. So that's pretty interesting. It looks symmetrical, but it's not. It's asymmetrical. Sometimes artists use symmetry to create balance in their artwork, which means stuff is the same on either side, kind of like a seesaw. If you have too much weight on one side, it's going to be asymmetrical, not symmetrical. Cricket is super <laughs> excited to be outside with you today. Um, so yeah, symmetrical. The same on both sides. And you can have lots of different types of symmetry. Like a square is symmetrical, right? If you cut a square in half, it's the same on either side. A circle has radial symmetry. So you can cut it like a pizza or cut it like a pie and each slice could be the same size. So it's got all that different uh, symmetry. You can slice it diagonal, vertical, horizontal, and it's the same. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you have fun exploring wherever you are, inside or outside, and let me know if you find any cool examples of symmetry. Bye.